I feel like I've eaten too much protein and like my stomach hurts. I feel like I've been doing, I feel like I've been eating too much protein that it's made my stomach feel really tight and a little bit painful and a little bit like trapped. <laughs> Is this too much information? Please, you're my friends, help me. Hi everyone, my battery's about to run out. Hello. I'm back. Today's video, also, before I start this video, how are you doing? I love you guys so much. Um, thanks for all the love recently. Oh my god, it's blowing me away. It's ridiculous to me that people come and watch my videos. I know so many YouTubers say that, but um, it is still very bizarre to me that five years later people are still interested in what this little thing's got to say. What am I gonna say? The last video, there was so much love for my eyelashes. Number one, thank you, but I can't take the credit for it because it is this lash serum that I have been using um, by Revitalash. This is not an ad or anything like that, obviously, because I have to disclaim it, um, but it is a very expensive brand, but obviously it works. <laughs> it's insane. I got my mum some, my sister's gonna start using it, as well, um, it's just a very, very good eyelash serum. Obviously do your research and like the prices and find out what's good for you or whatever, like you, if you're sensitive, all them sort of things. Um, but yeah, it is Revitalash. It really works. Um, the results are insane. <laughs> so today's video is highly requested. I feel like we're gonna move away from the videos that involve food, maybe for one week. I really wanna try the new Starbucks vegan menu, so we'll probably do that next week. But I get so many questions and, no, not questions, yeah, I get so many questions and ask about um, like an in-depth flat tour, I wanna see what you've done. There's so many changes that I've done over uh, the past year, obviously with not doing much. <laughs> I've been able to proper invest in furniture. I have lived away from my parents' house for about over three years now, and when I tell you it's taken just until now to be fully comfortable, like I haven't splashed the cash straight away moving out. It took me a good three years to actually build up my furniture and stuff. Um, and yeah, I'm always getting really nice compliments about my furniture and where I get things. So I thought today, why don't I do like a really in-depth tour? Starting with this room. Now, if you have been a viewer for a while, um, you should know that this was the living room slash dining room slash kitchen. But something over lockdown told me to change it all around and now this is just the entertaining room. Ironic because there's no entertaining going on here apart from just me and my family, my support bubble. So let's start over with here. There's so much change happening, so much change. Okay, so I'm just gonna do, like I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but we, blah, blah. So this is like what I like to call my work area. Um, so this is, Obviously a place where I would usually go to a coffee shop or I would go to another coffee shop and I would edit or I'd do emails or do stuff like that. Obviously, can't really do that now. So I decided to make this little nook where my dining room table was originally here to turn this into like a, oh my God, Mark, get shit done, sort yourself out, sort your life out. It's like it's really worked wonders for me, just thing, just having like a, a place where I don't associate like social media or TV, even though I'm working on social media. Just somewhere away from the TV, and <laughs> that like I just needed like a, a separate place to work rather than where I prepare food or where I watch TV. You get me, or where I sleep. So many of the products in this video are gonna be from Sainsbury's, because I absolutely love Sainsbury's slash Habitat, which is their homeware range. It's really affordable, really unique, really amazing. This is not an ad, um, but I just love it. Okay, right, this is my work area. This is where I edit, and um, sometimes I film, where I scrapbook, and where I just do like normal stuff. Okay, so up here we have these um, stick-on rent-a-friendly um, shelving units from Sainsbury's, which I absolutely love. Um, if you're playing a drinking game along with this video, take a shot every time I say Sainsbury's, but please be careful and response and drink responsibly. Positivity, please. This is from a lovely little shop in Carshalton um, called Ambience Home. If you're in the area, go check them out. It's run by two amazing, beautiful, lovely women. Um, this little bow here, this is what Tom Daly made me. He made me a little bow tie because he loves his little knitting. So I put that up here. It doesn't fit around my fat neck, but we move on. 
up to no good because you know me, all mischief maker, aren't I? So that's some Oliver bonus. Um, this is from Sainsbury's, New York, one of my favourite places in the world, if not my favourite, apart from London, obviously, love you. We've got another one of these shelves. They come in a set of three. So little one, medium one, big one, big ones in my ensuite. Okay, so we here, here we have seashells, which I originally pronounced as seashellies um, <laughs> from White Company. That's for my little diffuser air purifier down here. So it's like essential oils. This is from Amazon. This is amazing. I leave it on for like an hour and it literally fills the room with the most goddess smell known to man. Um, this is New York. This is a little fragrance I just like to spray around. Okay, this is from m &S. Um, This is the Edinburgh scent from Oliver Bonus. This is what my friend Essen bought me for my birthday. Love you, Essen. I spray this around just to get the ambiance, get the mist going. Love it. Um, hand repair restoring cream from Garnier and Garnier um, hand sanitizer. This smells incredible. I absolutely adore it. This table has been with me for years. Um, that was in my old flat. Do you remember my old flat? Sometimes I miss that. Old flat. Sometimes I miss that. Old flat. Ooh. Okay, so this is from Oliver Bonus. Um, love this. Beautiful. I mean, it's not your average work desk, and some people may think it's quite impractical, but it works. This little cloudy, um, amazing stool is from TK Maxx, HomeSense. Love that, it's so, so comfortable. Plant is from um, Ikea. This lamp is from Wilkinson's. Oh, you can't see it. That lamp is from Wilkinson's. Okay, so over here, this is my little, oh my God, I have some deep thoughts. Look how awkward I am. Um, so, throw, Amazon, cushion, Sainsbury's, chair. Hello, <laughs> you okay? The chair is from Dunelm. I am obsessed with Dunelm. Um, this little table thing, this was from, oh my God, b and Oh, when we went pumpkin picking, miss her. Um, so this spiral candle I actually made. So um, in regards to my other video where it was incredibly shockingly bad, I made this, I took some time. So this is from Amazon. La Jolie Muse, tobacco leaf herb. It is, oh my God, it is one of the be most beautiful scents I've ever smelled in my life. So I keep that over here, I feel like it looks really cool. This mirror from Sainsbury's. We have my sort of gallery wall with a little mirror. So this is quite funny because I'm really tall. So when I look in this mirror, my head's actually cut off, so I have to kneel down a bit, but who cares? The magic, the, all of these frames are from Oliver Bonus. Um, I love them so much. They are quite spenny, but they're just so unique. I, I just love them. There's a current theme around my flat. It's just love, peace, and positivity, um, which I really feel like I need. And it's called The Magic Is In You, and it's like little fortune cookies. And like, you know what I'm like? I love all that sort of like fortune cookies, horoscopes, like best of luck, good luck sort of stuff. <laughs> um, follow your heart. This gets a lot of love. Um, no pun intended, haha. <laughs> So this is really cute because it says symptoms of falling in love. Physical symptoms, emotional, diagnosis, follow your heart. Love it. Really straightforward, but really eye-catching. It's like marble, it's like 3D effects, like a bit gold, love it. Oops. So over here is where I spend most of my morning. It's a little coffee machine with little pods and the kettle. I love the kettle. This is from Sainsbury's and this was a gift from Zoe and Alfie. One thing you may know about me is that I love to reuse things and be like crafty. Don't throw anything away. I repurpose things. This is an old candle holder. I miss this candle so much. Oh. Um, I just put random stuff in it. So I've got like a candle wick, cutter, lighter, some merry beads, not merry beads, what are they called? Berry things, a face mask tool, some herbs. And here is an old smoothie jar from Bowl, which I put some fake flowers in. So this is stuff that I like wash my dishes with before I put it in the dishwasher. This is like a lovely 70s sort of jug that I just keep here. This is my ice machine, which is very loud and quite scary in the middle of the night because it does sound like someone's unlocking the door. Um, but 
I just love ice. Like ice for my face, ice for my drinks, ice. Bin, dutty. And then under here is like all my kitchen stuff, my fog machine, my disco lights, my bubble machine. You know, just your normal stuff under your sink. And then over here is my fridge. Okay, so moving on to the cupboards. There's some like cocktail stuff up here, some oil and a picture of Teddy. Um, in here, it's a mess, but it's an organized mess. And that's how my life works. I just love organized mess. Up here is all my mugs, mostly from Wilkinson, Sainsbury's and Oliver Wanus. Um, here, I'm so sorry, can someone come round and organize this for me? We've got sugar, we've got teas, we've got coffee, we've got mixed herbs, don't know why that's in there. We've got loads of teas, <laughs> loads of teas and baking stuff. Um, yeah, not my proudest cupboard. Someone come round and help me, we'll love you forever. Down here is all my herbs on a little um, thing. Cooker. So over here is like an old cutting board, which I spray paint, which I spray painted gold. And then I put my gluten-free pasta on, uh, my oil in a very fancy jar, which I got from Oliver Bonos. Um, then we got some salt, pepper, and spray oil. Now you're thinking, oh my god, what is that? <laughs> Watch. Three, two, one. Oh no. Oh, press the wrong button. Can you see that one sec? Oh. So I got these stick on lights, LED lights, from Amazon. And they I've just stuck them under there. And you can turn the colours to white, red, green, or blue. There's red. It looks so much better at night. Blue, green, and white. So you can change them all. And it just looks so sick. So in this cupboard, there are so many different glasses. Um, you guys are just obsessed, and so am I. So I'm going to show you a few, a few of my favourite glasses that I drink my drinks out of. Starting with this. Oh my god, I'm doing dry January, but as soon as February 1st comes along, I'm going to pour myself a nice glass of Prosecco in this. This is gorgeous. This is so gorgeous. I got two for six pounds in um, a garden centre called Woodcote Green. Sainsbury's again, three pound each. Look at this. I just love massive things that I can just hold. Do you know what I mean? So the size of this just makes me so happy. Um, I've been having like sparkling water with mint and frozen lemons. It's been a great time and I just love the design. It's very like art decor, old sort of Gatsby thing. This glass gets so much love when I post this. Look how cute this is. This was eight pounds and it's huge and it is like really, like a really thick rim, which I love. Um, it's got little bees on it. These were from Anthropology. These, uh, Bridgerton realness. Oh my God. Come on, Simon. Cheers. Cheers to being gorgeous. Love me, please. These were from, uh, these were, uh, these were, for, these were either from, H&M or Zara. I just love glasses so much. So when people come around, I'm like, hey, do you want some water? And they're like, yeah. I just want to be like a mafia gangster, being like, mm, okay, with my whiskey and bourbon. <laughs> Definitely don't want to be a gangster. Thank you. Like the sort of erudis erudescent. Um, these smash so easily. Like I could literally put it down and it would smash, or I could scream and it is smashed, so I kind of just leave them there, just to look free. Look at this! Oh, look at my face. <laughs> Looks like a Snapchat filter. <laughs> so this is beautiful. This is like great for like a martini or Prosecco, or a nice glass of wine. If I'm feeling posh, um, this is from Sainsbury's. Like, what the hell? So inexpensive. So beautiful. Right, over here we have bowls! Bowls and vitamins, um, and an iPad. So, okay, let's go through a few bowls. Look at these. These are gorgeous. So these were from um, Woodcote Garden Centre. If you're from the area, you should know where that is. It's in Wallington. 
um, these bowls. I just, I was like, oh my god, I can't wait to have my frost. Oh, I really want a bowl of frosties now. Look how beautiful frosties look in here. These bowls remind me of my aunts. I said this in a previous video. They're like 70s, 60s style. I love the design. Um, they just remind me of very like vintage Christmas. I don't, I don't know why. So when it was Christmas, I put all my chocolates in there. And I just love them. I just love the look of this. Um, Sainsbury's. <laughs> Cute design, Sainsbury's. This little purse got a lot of um, recognition the other week. So this is my little measuring cup. I just love it. Like, have you ever seen anything more me in your life? Like, Mark does not have a normal measuring jug. He has a little purse. These are like, oh my God, the queen's coming over. Um, let's make a nice cup of tea. These are from Oliver Bonus. Get the two little plates. Um, one of the other plates is over there. Just like putting my, I'll show you in a sec. I think it was like two, like two of these for 12 pound. Now that's a big glass. Like I was well chuffed with that. Sometimes Oliver Bonus is really good for like, like not as expensive as you, as you would think. Like growing up, I was like, there's no way in hell I would ever be able to afford anything from Oliver Bonus. Here's like bric a brac, like snacks, like all the protein snacks that I've been eating, which is probably making me feel like, ow, stop eating protein. And then here is just like pots and pans. Oh, pots and pans, chopping boards, cutlery. These are really cute. Am I recording? Yeah. <laughs> When I had my family over for uh, roast dinner, I put like salad bowls out with these. Look, who the hell do I think I am? Under here is Zoe's Christmas presents, Frosties and protein powder. So that is pretty much my area. Now this is where I like to relax, experiment. I'll put like a podcast on the Alexa and I'll attempt to cook dinner. It's a fun time, I love it. Um, Oh, I didn't show you this. Oh my God, <laughs> I didn't show you this bag. So over here, it's just a nice little zen area, okay? So this um, little, uh, what's it called? Like little raised shelf is from uh, Woodcote Garden Centre, White Company, seashells. This was a 10 pound candle from ASOS and it's amber musk and I just love the design. I thought it was so cute. Um, just love that. Just looks so nice here. Uh, we've got two books, two cocktail books. One, Gin Made Me Do It, Antiki Cocktails. Um, this always gets so much love. This was from H&M. I just love the statues. Um, it smells really nice. I thought it'd be unscented, but it actually smells beautiful, but I don't want to light it anymore. Um, I'll just leave it. This was from Amazon. Just a cute decanter. Um, I just think it looks really smart. Um, put that there. And then these dried flowers were from Moon Pig and L, L next door, love you. Sent me these ages ago. And look, they're dried flowers and they're just still the same. It's perfect. And this little vase was seven pounds from Oliver Bonners. I just love that. When I was younger, I was obsessed with science and like test tubes and it just reminded me of that. Of when I wanted to be a um, scientist slash wizard. Okay, little honey buns. This shelving unit, I love it like the industrial, ooh. It's cold. Refuse to put the heat in on though. I love this sort of industrial look. Like I love the idea of like high ceilings, like exposed brick. Um, so this was from Amazon. So easy to put up, so beautiful, so timeless. Um, this is from um, Zool's collection, Zoella Beauty Collections. It says inspire, obviously, and I just love to feel inspired and hopefully inspire to live your best authentic life. 2021, be yourself. This was bought from H&M. Like, Jesus, this is crazy heavy and I dropped it, but I think it adds character to it. So if you have a statue and you just wanna like make it a little bit like, more like antique looking, just drop it. Um, <laughs> but be careful. I don't know how this didn't smash into a thousand pieces, but either way, I love this. I just love this look. This was 18 pounds. And it was from Anthropology, not H&M. This Love Wins, because love does win, was from Zoe, a Christmas present, which I'm just obsessed with. It's so beautiful. We have like framed photos of me and my friends. A lovely 
Oh, mahogany teak wood um, candle from Zoe for Christmas. Loads of crystals. My auntie's mum used to work at a candle store in Battersea, and this is from it, like literally however long ago. And my aunt was like, oh, what do I do? Charity shop it, oops. <laughs> And um, I was like, no, I'll have it. Look how vintage, I love that. I'm never gonna burn it because it's a part of history. So I love that. We've got loads of rose quartz here, hopefully to bring good luck and love. Um, here's a little photo frame of me and my soulmate. Little Teddy. Oh, my little seal. It makes me feel sick how much I love her. This was um, painted by my friend, Gabby, who's um, the girlfriend of Luke Franks, who if you've been on this channel for a while, you should know who he is. I love him so much, his girlfriend. Painted that for me for my birthday. Gabrielle Iving, if you want to check her out. She's so cute. This was an old candle from um, Zara Home, which was called Mimosa Sublime, which literally the most sublime smell ever. And I put an Ikea plant pot in there. Just love the design of this. Didn't want to throw it away. This bowl, which I used to have potpourri in, but then they got really weird, so I threw them away. Um, just a little plant pot from plant pot from Sainsbury's. This is one of my favorite presents ever. Now this was from Alfie, and it's just I like a uh, little heart, and it's signed by the the artist. And I just think it is so beautiful. It's so me, and um, yeah, I just love that. Dream because I'm always dreaming. This was the crystal that I won on the crystal maze when me and my friends went. Um, those are all photo frames of my nearest and dearest. That photo of me and Zoe is just absolutely gorgeous. I love that. These awards that I won when um, me and my friends threw a like an award ceremony um, a couple of years ago. I think I won like craziest, funniest, and biggest party animal in the group. <laughs> Says a lot about me, doesn't it? Um, this I made. Um, this was a two pound vase from um, H and Home Sense. And then I spray painted it with like this sort of stony effect. Now it just looks like an amazing sort of antique. Next to this massive bottle um, filled with pampas grass. Both of these which were from um, Woodcote Garden Center. Ikea table, six chairs. The table runner um, was from Amazon, both from Amazon. These little drinks holders, I just love the sort of art decor, old Hollywood style. Um, these were six pound for four from Sainsbury's. <laughs> I always get loads of questions about this. This is like outdoor, Ibiza, Love Island, oh my God, tech, sit around the fire pit sort of vibe. Fake diamonds and like, like fake broken glass. And then I put two white company seashell candles in there. Never really liked them. I just liked them for the aesthetic of the video. They don't need to be lit because they smell so incredibly powerful anyway. This table is amazing for beer pong and it also shuts down into like the perfect circular table. I've always, always wanted a gallery wall, but I never thought I would be able to decide forever what sort of paintings or art I would put up. So we're gonna start um, this gorgeous lamp, by the way, is from B&Q. It was 60 pounds and it is just, Honestly, it's a bit small, but it just works perfectly in this area. Being cute, absolutely love you. I've seen so many influencers and YouTube people and creators and whatever you want to call them talk about Decenio, and I've never actually, <laughs> I've never had bad consumer or whatever, I never actually went on the website, even though so many people were talking about it. I knew for a fact that I really wanted like a Libra statement, um, like print and neon. I love neon and I love my star sign Libra. So I literally typed that into Google and these two were the first ones that came up. I love this. This is, um, I'm just gonna take this down. So this is Libra. Like you can see the scales in her earrings and I just thought it was so unique. It just, make, it just makes you wanna walk up to the wall and be like, oh, what does that mean? Like, and then you just like make the love of your life. Up here, these um, rent friendly, oh, you can't see them. <laughs> Here we've got the rent friendly stick on sort of hooks. I get three for 69p from Pound Stretcher. Um, it's called To Be Kind, absolutely love this. Um, it's like glitter. This was from Oliver Bonus. Now, this was really expensive, I think. It was like, I think this is 60 pounds. Oh, but this is what I mean like, it's an investment. I ain't never gonna put this in the bloody uh, basement or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is always gonna be on show, and I think it's so gorgeous. It's got an amazing message. 
is timeless. Get naked, which originally was in my bathroom, which obviously makes sense. But do you know how body confident I'm getting? How body confident I've grown, like in God body confidence. Um, I just wanted to put it in the main room just to be like, do you know what? If you want to get naked, get naked, love your body. Who gives a crap? We're all friends here. It's all from a very positive body. Oh my God, what am I saying? You know what I mean? Just like get naked, be proud of your body. <sighs> Things can only get better. Love the statement, got sent that um, by Evermade. Stunning, I just love that so much. Things can only get better. Rise and shine. I like the eyes. Like, I like the eyes. I think it looked really well, so put that there. This is from Amazon. This was £80. I love the industrial look. I do one day want to find, like, a massive one if I can't DIY it myself. Um, rose, water, and ivy. You know how much I love rose. Um, this has almost run out. And, oh, I'm so sad. So, that's, um, that was a present from Zoe. This is the most incredible room spray. Miller Harris, and it's called Erudite. I can't pronounce it, sorry. But I'm obsessed with it. Here we have... This was my first ever white company purchase. And this only happened last year. This is New York. Um, it genuinely smells... <laughs> it smells amazing. This was a vase from... Um, home sense, which I also coated in like a stone spray um, Which I made myself and these pampas grass were from Amazon um, Home sense, which was literally like nine pounds and I love that um, This is where the little saucer goes and I put the um, mimosa, Sub mimosa sublime Room spray. Oh, no, I can't spray on myself a room spray from Zara Absolutely incredible. It smells like the most amazing holiday you'll ever have in a bottle. And this little candle, which I thought was really cute. Like, I've got an obsession with bees at the minute. Um, it's like a little bee. It's like a little honey pot. It's, it doesn't smell that great. Um, but it was reduced on anthropology for like six pounds. Also got to um, give a special shout out to these bar stools which I absolutely love. Um, they're really comfortable. They're from Dunelm. I just love the colour. Um, these were, I think they were like £60 each. Here we have the bar cart area. As I'm doing dry and jan, it's a little empty because I drank everything in December. Fake plant, plant pot, this long stem. This was from Matalan, both from Matalan. Matalan, I miss you, I love you, I can't wait for you to reopen. Um, neon sign up there, love, because do you know what? I love love. The bar cart itself was from Amazon. Over here is the present I got from Zoe, which is make your own gin. And then we have the Kylie Jenner <laughs> tequila, as it's called. Um, I treated myself to one of them when I did that. What Kylie Jenner eats in a day? This M was given from for my birthday. And then I have loads of these hotel chocolate liqueurs, which were gonna be for when my friends came over. But then they cut the rule of six, so that never happens. So they're just waiting there peacefully. A lemon squeezer. Water bottle. I just like the look of it, so I put that there. <laughs> we have this, like, sort of, um, uh, what's that? Pineapple thing. Lime infusions. Lime infusions little things. Over here we have, like, I don't know why. I just, I love this jar from Sainsbury's. And I put loads of these in. These come in really handy, but off the top of my head, I can't even tell you what they, I'd use them for. This bowl is like the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, this is from Zara Home. I've got two of these. One for just over here for aesthetic reasons and sometimes if I want out of bowls. And the other one is used for like a bath bomb holder in the bathroom. Oh my god, almost smashed it. Then down here is I like to call my fancy wine glasses for if I ever have anyone over for like a cheeky date and I'm feeling very bougie. This crystal wine glass, um... I just, I just love that. I just so beautiful. I'm just so attracted to like glitz and glamour and towie. You know what I mean? <laughs> I've got like another martini glass and like a big gin one. But then I've got more like of these um, decanters down here. I just love, I love these. Like also in inexpensive from charity shops. Then I, I have another vase that I made. Spray painted it black with the stone effect. Um, yeah.
Love it. So now I'm going to take you out into my balcony, which I've just done up. Here we have, it looks so much better at night. I've got these little privacy protector things up here. The net for the pigeons and these buntings from Amazon. Over here, this was from Amazon, the whole thing. And all these plants are from um, Sainsbury's. <laughs> all like the plant pots and everything. They're so cool. Uh, that, this is one of my favourite um, vases. This was from HomeSense. And sometimes I pour like a little bit of Seflora into the pots and it makes them smell like they're real. It's incredible. This was from Sainsbury's as well. <laughs> um, the furniture was from Amazon. Just a little blankie if you get cold. I put like a Yankee candle in here. It just works like a charm. Some more planters from um, Sainsbury's. The uh, furniture, like I said, from Amazon. Big massive plant from Haskins, Haskins <laughs> um, in Brighton. It just smells amazing over here because I put Seflora in the plant pots. And then up here, this used to be like the, oh my God, it's windy, the balcony sort of protecting thing here. But I put it up here and it looks like an outdoor like sort of vibe and I'm so excited for summer night. It's just going to be such a vibe. Love that. It's absolutely freezing. So that's my balcony. Right, I'm going to put you hands free now. These lampshades are from Ikea and I now hate them with a passion. So... Oh, maybe I'll change them, maybe I won't, can't be asked. But um, yeah, I really don't like these anymore. So over here we have another side table from Amazon. Really handy, really slim for the purpose. Just put my keys on there, some jewellery, chewing gum, a couple of vases from H&M, a little diffuser, monkey light, um, radiator. <laughs> There's a mirror up here with the crystal and another rose quartz. Um, I just love this area. I think it's perfect for what it needs to be. Over here we have a canvas that I actually painted myself. So I've got the canvas from the works. I just love it. It just sticks with the theme of love and I just love that. So main bathroom in here. Amazing draft excluder. Over here we have another <laughs> white. I did a massive splurge with white company um, and I got the blank. This smells equally gorgeous. There's the other bowl from Zara which I put the bath bombs in. This, ta this side table's from Sainsbury's, it was £40, I love it. Um, and this bergamot candle, which also smells gorgeous, um, was from H&M. These little vases were from Amazon, and these were on sale um, in Zara, I love them. Here is another renter's dream, these adhesive stick-on um, shelves. And then down here is obviously the bath and other bits that I use. Um, and then over here, my favourite Yankee candle. Smells like the Alien perfume, Sugared Blossom. And if you've been following me for a while, you should know that Alien is my favorite perfume on earth. Hand wash, Sainsbury's, Sainsbury's, a uh, gift from M&S. Poo spray for all those poops that my friends have. <laughs> um, this, like a massive rose quartz frame thing, which was from HomeSense. Um, like I've got like fragrances, bit of Kylie. Um, this is one of my favourite perfumes ever. This is um, Nirvana by Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Elizabeth and James. En suite, um, same sort of thing. That's where the other one has gone. Um, all my face masks and my fragrances. The Ariana Grande perfumes are my absolute fave. They just smell so unique. I'm, I love this. I've seen this so much online. So I gave it a shot and I loved it. My little speaker for when I'm in the shower. Um, works really well. Uh, that looks so ugly. It doesn't look as bad in real life. Here we have some other bits and bobs. We have some poo spray for in here for them little poos. Um, we got some castor oil. Um, we've got some aloe vera. Got some hair care stuff. Beauty Bay's own brand. But um, yeah, I absolutely love this clay mask. It was like five pounds or something. Okay, so moving into the bedroom. Here's all my cozy bits, my dressing gown, and then I want to do some more with this. Like I want to like put some like fairy lights here or something, like something industrial, you know? These boots that I wore on New Year's Eve um, to my living room. <laughs> if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would know that I had a little party on Zoom with my friends and wore these because I still dressed up. I'll put my laptop on here and then I'll just sit and chill and watch like stuff on my laptop. <laughs> 
And I also put tape over it. I know that's a plastic, I know that's a plaster, but I get really worried. I've seen so many horror films about people like spying on you. And I just get really scared and I'm paranoid. So I just cover that, okay? I just cover it. And I advise you to do the same, just in case. This mirror was from B&Q and then I put the LED lights on myself from Amazon. Love this area. This is where I get ready, do my skincare, like chill. All my hair care's down there. If you watch one of my TikTok videos, you should know that I made this mirror from scratch. Um, obviously, I I made I bought like the frame, but then I painted it and put all this stuff on it. So go check out that video if you want to see how I did that. So over here are my fragrances, the K K L E fragrances, um, Huda Beauty Sister. These are just like unmatchable. Like they smell insane. Zoe bought me like the Discovery set, or like the small ones, to see if I like them. And I did, so I bought three of my faves. <laughs> then this was a present from my mum and dad for my birthday. Poppy and Barley, Joe Malone. Just... Mm. So absolutely stunning. And then in here is like my everyday skincare. So we've got the Ordinary. We've got uh, Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Light Cream. We've got some SPF in there. We've got my eye cream. We've got hyaluronic acid. We've got loads of ordinary stuff in there. So guys, we have now reached the final room, if not my favorite room in the flat. It looks so much better in real life, but there we go. So this is my cozy movie nook room. Um, it's just absolutely perfect for me. You guys know how much I love movies and like, just like chilling and relaxing, um, as everyone does. H&M, the LED lights for from Amazon. Just gives a nice glowy effect. These two candles, the bubble candles, are from um, Foam Home on Instagram. Vase is from um, H&M. The table, so that was they came as a two. So that, uh, that little one just fits under there. That was from Dunelm. This was from Amazon. Big TV, can't remember where it was from, Argos or something. That lamp was from Oliver Bonus, love it. That table thing here, Sainsbury's, got some pictures and other candles there. We've got Thierry Mugler Angel Candle, which is beautiful. That vase is from Oliver Bonus. That uh, tray's from Sainsbury's. Over here, this is like the new addition to the flat. Looks so much better in person. This candle, I just love this design so much. This was from Sainsbury's. Um, this little thing was like three pounds from Sainsbury's. Got a little metal plate just in case I do end up lighting it. Sainsbury's and home base. Over here, this set of tables are from Asda. The cutest four pack of um, coasters. You know, guys, I love bees <laughs> so much. I think they just look so cute. And these were from Oliver Bonus. And this um, was from Home Sense. Absolutely beautiful. But it is very bright, so I might have to get like, like, it's very bright. You guys, if you watch my Christmas flat tour, you would know about like the multicolored lights I'm keeping all year round. I just think it gives it a good chilled vibe. These were from Matalan. This was from Oliver Bonus. Once again, friendship, love, absolutely adore that. The powerful skylight, which in nighttime, which of a night just looks absolutely incredible. That was from Amazon. Over here, we have a wax melt. This table was from, um, where was this table from? Amazon. More coasters. This vase was from Oliver Bonus. Fake flowers from a random garden center. Um, we have the Mimosa Sublime candle from Zara over here. And then the Starlight obviously was from Amazon. It is just insane. It's the best thing I've ever bought. It's so cozy. Be the person your dog thinks you are. Cute Oliver Bonnet. And then the new addition, which looks a bit sad and lopsided actually, is this um, hanging plant from Sainsbury's. And I just secured it with a little um, command strip and a little bit of Gorilla Glue. And no one would know the wiser. If you stand from over here, <laughs> you can't really sell it. You can't really tell. So guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, it was very highly requested. And if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. I shall see you very soon. Take care of yourself. Next week, I'm sure I will be trying the vegan menu at Starbucks. I love you. Good. Bye. Mwah.